What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video talking to you guys today about American Express. Oh yes, the American Express family, right? A lot of you are members of this family, American Express. If you are a member of the American Express family, I'd like to hear what, uh, what cards you have below. Or if you wanna talk what cards you wanna get, because um, I'm gonna talk in today in this video about some of the everyday cards they have. We're gonna compare three of them that they have here in this category for everyday cards. And we're gonna be talking about, you know, doing a side-by-side -side comparison about, you know, which one could wind up being best for you. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you to everybody who subscribed so far, man. This channel is growing and I am loving it. I'm enjoying putting out two videos a day right now and just putting out as much as I can for you guys to show people options that maybe they didn't know they had when it comes to the world of finance and the world of credit. Because hey, if you're like me, you weren't taught this in school, you weren't taught this in home, now you're like into adulthood and you're learning about stuff, you know, feel like maybe you should have been taught about a long time ago. But you know what? Hey, we're all working at this. We're all learning. So please comment on the video. Please, if you have any info to share on this, um, share your experience. I love hearing that from you guys because it helps out a lot of the new people especially. Because even if you've been doing credit or had credit cards for years, the world of credit is changing pretty regularly. And it can be very overwhelming in the beginning when you're brand new. So if you have any experience, please share it down in the comments section. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So we are in my account right now looking at my um, Blue Cash Preferred card that I have here. We're gonna scroll down and do some comparison. Um, fun fact, I found out, look at this, this is new for the Platinum card. You can have, instead of just the uh, design like this, the standard one, you can have flowers now, if you like, or a little bit of, uh, looks like paint splashed on, is what it looks like to me. So, hey, you know, you got a couple different designs for the Platinum now. But that's not what we're talking about. We're gonna be doing a comparison today, not comparing the blue cash. So we're gonna get rid of this, or not the one that I have. And we're gonna go and compare cards. And look at the everyday cards they have. So two of these are everyday uh, cards from the rewards category. So understand with American Express, the platinum, gold, and green card are charge cards. They're kind of like hybrid credit cards, but they are different, they're not technically credit cards. So these are all the cards where you're gonna get rewards points, all these rewards right here. Now down here with cash back cards, these are ones you actually get a percentage of cash back. But what we're doing today is we're pulling from both these categories because these are the cards that they like to try to show for, as you can see, these are all everyday cards, right? So we have uh, Amex Everyday Credit Card, Amex Everyday Preferred, and then we have the Blue Cash Everyday. So these are some of the cards that they use, that they like to push for everyday cards. You could use other ones as well, like a lot of people like the Cash Magnet card and that kind of thing for just the simplicity of the cash back you get. But here's what we're looking at today with these three, okay? Now you can see that two of them right off the bat have no annual fee, all right? This one, the preferred, is gonna have a $95 annual fee um, because they're gonna offer a bit more in terms of benefits with this card. Also, one thing to know with American Express, if you've never applied with them before, on your first application for a credit card, uh, you may get double hard pulled. That's what happened to me. And I thought that was really rare, but several of you in the videos I've done in the past have commented saying, no, I got double hard pulled too. I got hard pulled on Experian and TransUnion is what I got when I first applied to American Express. The good news is that once you're in with them and you wanna apply for other cards in the future, um, then you know those are gonna be soft pulls when they do that. Credit limit increases, same kind of thing. So you know that's good to know once you're in. And then when I applied for my business card, first business card with them, uh, two weeks after I got my personal card, that was a soft pull. So I got two hard inquiries and I applied on the personal side, but I got zero hard inquiries and I applied on the business side. So just something to keep in mind, obviously your results may vary. Uh, the rep told me on the business side, it could be hard pull, it could be soft pull, could be any of the bureaus, it just depends. So again, results may vary. That's one of the reasons why credit is kind of complex too for people sometimes is because a lot of times people don't get the same results. Now, as we're digging into these cards here, so we're gonna start here with the preferred, right? They're gonna give you 15,000 membership rewards points or MR for sure. Whenever you see MR points, American Express, that's what it stands for, is membership rewards. So they're gonna give you 15,000 if you spend 1,000 bucks in three months, pretty doable. On the everyday, the regular everyday, they're gonna give you 10,000 membership rewards points for spending 1,000 in three months. Again, pretty doable. Now if you look over here, if you wanna get an idea of what these points are worth, you just Google search, you know, what are um, Amex, points worth, credit card points worth, this will come up. You'll find this article from their own website. You scroll down here a little bit, you can skip past all this and just go to this chart. This will make it real simple for you. So you're gonna see most of their points here any, are worth anywhere from half a point, or excuse me, half a point, to um, half a cent to a full cent per point. So half a penny to a full penny. So 
They don't do cash back. They do a statement credit, but you can see the value is really not very good. This is different than like um, Chase or Navy Federal where it's one penny per point. So if you want to do statement credit, not really your best bet. A lot of people like to use these with travel transfers because this is where they can really get the, uh, the most value for their points, using them for travel transfers with different airlines and things like that. Otherwise, you're looking at anywhere, you know, half a cent up to maybe a full cent just totally depends. So turn out what you're going to use the points for. You can use them for that. Also, if you have a credit card with them, the platinum um, card that's co-branded with Charles Schwab or Morgan Stanley, you can use your MR points to actually invest. And they'll give them to you at 1.1 for one point. So 100,000 MR points, if you invest like Charles Schwab, that's $1,100. So you can use that to invest in buy stocks, you can open up a Roth IRA, just, you know, if you want to buy index funds or something like that, go for it. Now on the blue cash everyday card, they're gonna give you $200 cash back for spending two grand in six months. This is a pretty good length of time. Lots of other places, three months, this is six months, which American Express does pretty frequently, is they give you um, <clears throat> more time that oftentimes other institutions do to spend that money. And you're gonna get the $200 in the form of a statement credit. So you're not literally getting cash in your account, you're gonna get a statement credit for it. Now the APR is pretty good across the board here. They're all 12 point, well, they're almost the same. But as you see here, uh, they all offer 0% intro APR um, on purchases. So the preferred is gonna be for 12 months. The everyday is gonna be for 15 months. And then the blue cash is also for 15 months. The APR is pretty much the same, right? So you have 12.99 to 22.99. Uh, this one's one, one percentage point above. I'm not sure why, but they're all within one percentage point of each other. The APR is almost the same across the board. Now, like you said earlier, you're going to earn membership rewards points with these two, and this everyday card is going to be cash back. So it really just depends on what you prefer. Now, some people, they love the points because they love to use them for travel <clears throat> or other things like that. Other people, they just like the simplicity of having a card like this that they can use uh, to get cash back you know, throughout their day just on what they spend. So the preferred card, you're gonna get what? Triple the points at supermarkets, uh, up to $6,000 a year. So it's gonna be 100, and, or excuse me, it's gonna be uh, 1,800 points. So two times the points on gas, one point everything else. Uh, for the everyday, you're gonna get double the points at supermarkets and then one on everything else. So obviously this is gonna be more bang for your buck. They do have the uh, potential here to get 50% and 20% extra points if you use your card 30 or more times or 20 or more times. Obviously the 20 is gonna be easier to hit for most people. So this is gonna require quite a few purchases and transactions throughout the month to hit, to hit, especially to hit this one for the preferred. Now the Blue Cash Everyday, they'll give you 3% back at US supermarkets up to $6,000 per year. So that's 180 bucks you'll be able to get back. The preferred that I have, the credit card that I have, the Blue Cash Preferred, um, they give you 6% cash back at supermarkets. So you get $360. So, but this could be a card you use for part of the year. Or maybe you get the blue cash preferred, use that for the first 6,000 you use at supermarkets, which could be, especially if you have a family, a big family could be easy to hit. And then maybe use this for the rest of the year. It's up to you. And you get 2% back at gas stations, 2% at uh, certain department stores, 1% on everything else is what you're going to get. They do come in the form of rewards dollars, which is one rewards dollar is one actual dollar. And you come and take a peek at the benefits here. A lot of these are gonna be the same. You got your access to pre-sales, right? The hotline you have for assistance, uh, payment flexibility. Preferred is the only one with any kind of return protection, but also has that you know annual fee to go with it. And then you do have your membership rewards points you can pay with for these two, but this one is going to be cash back. And we can come over here, look individually at them. I mean, when you look at them individually here, there's not a whole lot more it shows for you versus what we just looked at, except for the travel part down here. So when you're looking at the uh, everyday card, you will get double the points if you book travel um, through amextravel.com. So they actually, they don't mention that over here, but if you book it through Amex Travel, you're gonna get double the points. So if you're looking at the, um, yeah, so the preferred and then the everyday card, same thing. So whether you get the everyday or whether you get the preferred, you get double the points for booking on Amex Travel. When you go with the blue cash every day, you're not gonna get points because it's not a points card. Remember, it's a cash back card. So this is where you're getting just flat percent cash back depending on where you spend your money. Now with this card though, you still have some travel uh, benefits. You have some travel protection, right? For car rental loss and damage insurance. Your hotline, you know, 24 seven global says hotline, stuff like that. But this is not a card that's really geared towards travel because it's a cash back card that's geared especially for everyday spending. 
not really much of a travel card. So usually it's more with the rewards cards that you can use these for travel. But again, these rewards cards we looked at, they're also geared towards being able to use for everyday spending, which is why you see things like supermarkets, gas stations, stuff like that, because they want it to be something you can just use day to day in your spending. So when you're comparing these three cards for every day, these three can be good. Also, like I said, there's other options as well. People like the cash magnet card, people like the blue cash preferred card. So anything in this area is probably gonna be decent for if you're looking for an everyday cash back or an everyday everyday spending card with American Express, whether it's cash back, whether it's actual MR points, it's up to you. But I do appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for checking out this video. If you have any thoughts about American Express, please share it down below in the comments section. Other than that, I wanna say thanks again for watching. And until next time, keep growing your money.